Good morning and welcome to our devotional here on this Monday and a great uh, continuation of our series from Sunday. A great, um, you know, uh, those questions, you know, that we're afraid to ask. And uh, I think we were challenged about forgiveness and I pray that it spoke to your life. Pray that it ministered to you. If not, if you weren't able to catch it, please. Uh, it's still on our Facebook um, uh, live stream. It's there. So please uh, just dive in there and it's a great message of truth. Um, the, the, uh, the title of today's devotional is We Know Him. And it's based on a scripture found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 16. It says, so we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view, how differently we know him now. Um, you know, I think we all have uh, have an account of one time or another where uh, we acted without thinking. You know, we kind of maybe said something, did something, or maybe even out of frustration or um, the moment, we, we may have said something that we maybe not necessarily meant within our life. And I think we all have those moments, right? We can all account for them. And some are regrets, some are truths, some are realities, kind of what we're facing in the moment. But there's a saying um, that I think that, that uh, when the, the heat of the moment happens, there is somebody that would say, let's be reasonable, right? And I think that it's a plea for some, you know, from someone. It's it's saying, you know, it's asking, I think, uh, and, and saying, you know, let us think through what we're doing here right now. Let's, let's, let's not allow our emotions to get the best of us and let's see what the whole picture is before we make any type of decision, you know. And we don't understand all the facts. That's just reality, right? Uh, we're acting with, uh, without knowing really all the information that is available. And so, so, you know, I think when you hear the statement of to be reasonable, it declares that we're thinking clearly, we're controlled, um, not by our feelings or our desires, but by all the information that we are aware of, and we're not blinded by anything. I think that is always the best way to, to respond in certain circumstances of our life. But this is what we should be doing now. I think that that's something that as, as followers of Christ, as, as his children, um, we should use all that we've learned from the Lord and his word, and we should not not storm into situations based on emotions or are based on feelings but we would use our head right we would uh, think before we speak as some would say or you know before we open our mouths we think through our thoughts and so we we kind of we would ask God for wisdom in those moments asking the Lord to help us to be careful about what we say and what we do the Bible says in Romans uh, 12 3 it says this because of the privilege and authority God has given me I, I give each of you this warning don't think you are better than you really are be honest in your evaluation of yourselves measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us I mean, a clear statement for us to take a hard look at who we are, right? And begin to evaluate how we respond. You know, if we can't acknowledge that truth um, about how we do things, then it, it means that we're in denial. It means that we don't realize um, how we respond. And so we have to remember that we need to be reasonable and that reasonableness allows us to have communication, resolve issues. Um, it's, it's something that should be part of our life. You know, we are different now. We are because we know him, because Christ is into, into our life. We are different now and we should have a different form of response. We need to allow others to see us differently now because of the fact that we've had a relationship with God come into our lives and transform us. And so we need to see people differently because we know Jesus now. That is really what the, the truth is. And so there's a great scripture found in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 5. It's very simple, but it says, There is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man, Christ Jesus. You know, you have differences with people. There's only one person that can help you reconcile those relationships, and it's Jesus. We make efforts, don't get me wrong. We, we, we make strides, and sometimes there is a little bit of harmony. But unless there's true forgiveness and unity, they resurface in time, right? But Christ brings and he makes all things new, right? And that's the beauty of having a relationship with Christ is that he can make things new. Why? Because we know him. Let's bow our heads as we close. Thank you, Father, because um, my relationship with you makes all my relationships different. Um, and I pray, God, that uh, as I continue to be refined and reformed, God, that you would continue uh, to do your work in my life. And I think the same is true of everyone that's listening here on this morning, God, that you would challenge us to be different, that we would open our eyes and see, God, that you are you are doing a work in our lives and we just got to be more receptive, more willing, and, and embrace 
uh, what it is that you have for us, Lord, and allow us to be a great witness and a testimony for those that are around us, Lord. Uh, we know you, and you make a difference in our life, and I pray that others can see that too. I pray blessing over you, children. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face toward you, and may he give you peace throughout this week. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining. Well, as we close this devotion here on this Monday, I want to remind you of uh, a lot of things that are going on in the church. Again, as a reminder, we still are in our, our month of prayer. I pray that you are, are really um, involved in that. Uh, again, um, great, great way of the, the, the Assemblies of God is really kind of uh, spearheading this and uh, the missions department specifically um, praying every single day. So I pray that you can do that. Also, take a look at our devotionals. They're great ways for you to be able to from past in our social media. It's a great way for you to get involved. And so I pray that you do that. So uh, share that, show it to some, some others. And uh, again, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, as well as our church app and our website. God bless you.